in this question we have a circuit and here is a voltage source we have to find out the value of this uh, voltage source source vs okay and here is one load and here is another load uh, power consumed by these two loads are given and all the impedances in this circuit are also given the voltage across this load is 120 volt plus here and minus here we have to find out the value of the source voltage vs how do we solve this okay suppose uh, this current here is i and this current here is i1 the current here is i2 say okay then uh, here also the current will be i2 and that means uh, this current i will be equal to i1 plus i2 so i1 i is equal to i1 plus i2 now suppose the voltage across this load is v1 plus minus this is the voltage from here to here and suppose the voltage across this load is p2 which is given as 120 volt okay so this is the voltage from here to here these two terminals are uh, open circuited there is nothing connected here okay and uh, v2 has polarity like this plus and uh, minus then uh, suppose the complex power consumed by this load is s1 bar and the complex power consumed by this load is s2 bar okay so that means s1 bar will be v1 i1 star so s1 bar is v1 i1 star and uh, s2 will be p2 i2 star now the value of v2 is given okay v2 is 120 volt so from here we can write that i2 so i2 will be equal to s2 by v2 whole star complex conjugate of s2 by v2 this will be i2 okay now s how much is s2 okay let me write here the real part of s2 that is the active power is given to be 300 watt okay so 300 watt and uh, then the this load is leading in nature that means the reactive part will be negative okay so minus j how much will be the reactive part notice that 300 watt is basically uh, v2 i2 cos theta okay and cos theta is 0 0.8 so 300 by 0 0.8 this will be the apparent power or uh, product of v2 and i2 and now if we multiply this with sign of uh, the uh, angle of this load which will be cos inverse uh, 0 0.8 okay so this this is the value of s2 so which will be 300 uh, and and this part is in volt ampere reactive okay so 300 minus uh, this will be 300 uh, 225 okay if cos theta is 0.8 then sin theta will be 0.6 if you uh, calculate this will be 225j okay and uh, the unit is uh, dimension is basically volt ampere now s2 is known v2 is also given 
so i2 can be found out okay you can find out how much is i2 next once we know i2 then how much is v1 this voltage v1 is same as uh, the voltage drop along this line plus v2 okay so i can write v1 is equal to v2 plus this voltage drop here which is i2 into uh, 1 plus half j 1 plus j half okay now i2 is already calculated v2 is given so you can find out how much is v1 this can be uh, found out Achha. next once we know v1 then we can calculate i1 okay so notice here s1 is equal to v1 i1 star so from here we can write that i1 will be equal to s1 by v1 whole star s1 by v1 whole star now how much is s1 uh, so let me calculate here so the active power consumed by this load is 100 watt so the real part of s1 will be 100 watt okay and then this is a lagging power factor load so the reactive power will be positive okay plus j and how much will be the reactive part so that will be 100 divided by cos theta uh, cos theta is 0 0.9 power factor and multiplied by sin theta that means sin cosine inverse uh, 0 0.9 okay so you can calculate how much is this you can find out how much is s1 okay now once you know s1 then from here s1 by v1 can be calculated so i1 will be known then we already know i2 we already know i1 so you can calculate how much is i so then i will be equal to i1 plus i2 i1 i2 both are known so you can easily find out uh, the value of i okay so this can be calculated now once we know this current i then how much will be this source voltage notice that this source voltage this voltage is same as the voltage drop here plus v1 okay so then vs will be equal to v1 plus v1 plus this drop which is i into this impedance okay i multiplied by 0 0.8 plus j 0 0.4 now the value of i is already known v1 is already known okay so you can easily find out how much is this value and uh, you have to use your scientific calculator uh, extensively to find all these values and if you uh, calculate uh, this will come out approximately equal to uh, 123.7 uh, 6 volt with an angle of a 2.62 uh, degree this is in volt okay